All right, welcome back to video number two, guys. So um, we are going to add and subtract integers, okay? So, so we're gonna start off with same sign what? I hope y'all remember me saying this. Same sign add, add, different sign subtract. I'm putting that in big, bold letters. Stop the video, take a screenshot, or make sure you pull up the notes. Please, please, I'm begging you, remember this. Same sign, add. Opposite sign, subtract, okay? Same sign, add. Opposite sign, subtract, okay? And the signs we're talking about is our positive and our negatives. Those are the signs. If I have a negative 9 plus 6, the first thing I need to do is say, do I have the same sign or do I have a different sign? Let's look. This has a negative on it. Does this have a negative on it? No. So if it does not have a negative on it, I cannot add them. I need to subtract them. But Miss T, I see a plus sign. I know, I know, I know I see a plus sign. But the rule says, if the signs are different, I have to subtract. So just because I see a plus sign does not mean that is what I am going to do. What I'm going to do is to separate them because they are different. Negative nine plus six. So you're taking the negative nine and you're pulling six off of it. So it's like saying nine minus six. What is nine minus six? You're going to get three. Now, which number has the greater magnitude or the greater absolute value? Remember, absolute value says all the numbers are just the distances from zero. So nine from zero and six from zero. Which one is a greater value from zero? Nine. So that means the sign that was with the nine, huh, that rhymed. <laughs> The sign that is with the nine stays with the answer. So my answer is a negative three. If you get confused, I am going to show you, um, I'm gonna do this one again, and we're gonna use our different colors. I don't have yellow, um, so I'm gonna have to use a different color for our positive number, or probably have to use blue. Um, or purple, um, but I'm going to show you or remind you when we had our red and yellow chips, how we figured this out, okay? But for right now, I'm gonna, I have to show you this way because this is the way we ended. So we have seven plus negative three. Are my signs the same? They're not the same. So when they're different, I have to subtract them. So I need to say seven, and I need to pull off three of them. When I pull off three, I'm gonna end up with four. Now, which one of these has the greater absolute value? Like I said, we, we can say magnitude, but for what we're saying, which one has the greater distance from zero? Seven, is seven further away from zero? Or is three further away from zero? Seven. So the sign with seven is just a positive number because remember, we don't put the plus sign there. It's just positive. So then four stays positive. Negative 11 plus five. I'm gonna give you two seconds. I'm just kidding. I'll give you like 10 seconds to see if you can figure this out before I write the answer. And then you can see, did I get it right? Ooh, I need my Jeopardy music. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But my phone's the camera, so I can't really play the Jeffrey music. Just play it in your head. We heard it enough. 
All right, did you get the answer? All right, so let's see. Do you have the same answer that I have? Now, some of you may have said, oh man, I did 16. That's because you didn't go back to our rule. But that's okay, because this is why we practice. Some of you may have said, well, I just got a positive six. I didn't put the negative sign. A positive six and a negative six are different numbers, which means, guess what? I got to mark it wrong. But, like I said before, this is why we do this, so we can practice and get all those kinks out so that we can get to the right answer. The negative 11. 11 is further away from zero. So the sign with the number further away from zero is the sign I'm going to keep, which is why it's negative. Sorry, I put it on there already. I don't know why I was All right, do we have the same sign? Yes, we do. So because we have the same sign, we're going to add. You guys don't have a whole lot of trouble when it's the same sign. It's when they're different, which is why Ms. T has more of those examples than the other one. See, I'm smart. All right, so the answer for that one is 11. Four plus seven, 11. We have two negative numbers. Are they the same sign? They are the same sign. They're the same sign. Don't subtract them. They're the same sign. So because they're the same sign, six plus eight will give me 14. And because both of their signs are negative, I keep the negative sign. Now we've shown this on the number line. We've shown it um, using our red and yellow colors in class. We've, we've done it all kinds of different ways. So I'm going to show you one last thing. And I'm, it's more of just a reminder than anything else because I know that in class we did red and yellow um, in the beginning when we first started learning how to do this. And I'm going to show you what in the world. I'm going to show you again or remind you what we did. Now, I could use dots, um, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you in terms of the negatives. And like I said, remember I don't have, um, no, nope, I don't have yellow. Yellow wouldn't show up anyway, so I'm gonna have to use my blue and my red. But I'm gonna make sure that you understand which one is which. Now, how many nines would I have? How many red nines do I need? Nine. <laughs> I need nine. So one, two, three, Oh, sorry, they're too close together. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hopefully that's not out of the frame and you can see it. I don't need to worry about my plus sign, that's just there. How many six, um, six plus signs do I need? I kind of just told you. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Then I'm going to take, we'll do brown. Because y'all know I don't like this color either. Well, well, you know what? We'll do green. So now I'm going to zero pair them out. Remember? Zero pair. We had our red and our yellow chips like that. And we would say, okay, well, this red and this yellow, they zero each other out. Because one minus one is zero. So they zeroed out and we got rid of it. We do the same thing here. This and this, they cancel out. So those two cancel. So I'm just going to go down the line and cancel out until I can no longer cancel. I can cancel those. I can cancel that. I can cancel that. I can cancel that. And I can cancel that. Can I cancel any more? Am I gonna start canceling all these? No. Don't cancel those. You can only you can only cancel if they have their opposite. Ah, taking it back to the first video. So we've got opposite, 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 opposite. All these these don't have an opposite, which means my answer 
is what is left over. What is left over? A negative three. Three negatives, I should say. Three negatives are left over. If this is how you need to set it up, there is no shame in your game. Set it up this way. Who cares? Who cares? As long as you get the correct answer, who cares how you had to set it up? Okay? If you set it up this way and you can figure it out from here, great. Who cares? As long as you understand that different sign means I need to subtract. Okay? So you have the two ways and then you also have the number line way, which we did in the first video. You could do it that way. Personally, I think these two are the easiest ways that seem that are that, that are less complicated. You don't want to complicate things. It's just math. We don't want to complicate it. So if you have to, do it this way. Okay? It's fine. It works. I still get to the right answer. When you're adding and subtracting, that is literally the best way to make sure that you did your math correctly. Okay? So that is the end of this video. The next video, I believe I am doing, I have to look, I'm not sure. But um, we're probably gonna have to get into fractions and decimals on the next video. Ooh, I know, I'm sorry. But um, we're gonna just power through it. And we're gonna get it done, okay? And I'll see you guys in the next video.